Welcome back everyone, today we're going to jump back into bows and their damage and statistics since the overhaul and update. To begin we're going to go through the bows from top to bottom. Ancestor's bow. War bow, sinew backed bow, regular bow, hunter's bow, and wooden bow. Ancestor's bow you'll get with the founder's package. The war bow is a craftable one that you have to purchase the crafting for. Sinew backed bow, likewise. Hunter's bow, also. And wooden bow is one that you know at the very beginning. And then this bow you can only find from looting. Each bow has its own damage statistics per arrow. The base damage. I will consider to be from the first bow or the lowest tier, so our wooden arrow bow at 72 damage starting out. The next grade up, the arrow, which I would highly suggest everyone learn because the damage is almost twice or is twice as much. The ancestor bow can manage five different types of arrows, and you can make all these different types of arrows, you just have to buy the iron arrowheads or find them. The war bow has heavy arrow and toxin arrow. Sinew backed, arrow medium arrow, hunter bow, arrow stun arrow and sound arrow, wooden bow is just wooden arrow and stun arrow, and the bow that you manufactured bow is only iron arrows. As you hover over each type of bow, they will show up to have their comparison damage. If you have more than one bow of the same type, you can select different types of arrows so you can quick select whatever bow that is going to have those arrows already equipped instead of having to go in and equip these arrows during battle. Alright, let's really get into this. We're going to start with the bow damages. So each tier of the weapon damage upgrade that you can get increases by an average of 10% each time. We're going to start with the Ancestor's Bow. The base damage we're going to take from the first arrow uh, that is a damage arrow so our our wooden arrow that is 72 damage and then at max weapon damage tier you're hitting around 126 uh, skip to the iron arrow it's about 477 damage so a regular horse has 500 health and this can about one hit kill a regular horse in one shot the sinew backed bow has two different arrows, a regular arrow and medium arrow. Um, maxed out, it hits about 367 with the medium arrow, which is about 210 base damage. War bow is coming in first place with 490 damage with fully upgraded heavy arrows. The war bow is also special because it can shoot the toxic arrow, and this is a great arrow to take out groups of NPCs or uh, even a single NPC, uh, but you don't want to really waste those toxic arrows. The regular bow is going to be manufactured, so you can only find it looting or off of NPCs or in containers, and it can only shoot the iron arrow, which you can make iron arrows, but you have to buy the iron arrowheads or find them looting. Uh, it takes 185 damage or 323 damage at fully fully maxed. Hunter's bow is probably our most versatile because it can shoot regular arrows, stun arrows, and sound arrows for distraction purposes to get your NPCs to go to a certain place, then maybe switch to a toxic arrow, or just shoot them all with sound or stun arrows. Um, it has 123 base damage, which is pretty good for regular arrow, uh, and it hits uh, maxed out about 215, so it takes two or three hits to take down a medium tier NPC with a hunter's bow. And then we have our wooden bow, which is a craftable one that you know at the very beginning. You don't have to learn that. Hits at about 54 damage and then maxed out hits just under 100 damage. And it can also shoot a stun arrow. So you can really do the everything you need with wooden bows, but we're going to talk about how fast they break next. So for each of these bows, I did at least three tests to try to do four on how many arrows you can shoot each time before your bow breaks. 
Now, each bow has a certain number of arrows that can be shot before it, it starts to have the chance to be broken. So you reach this cap and then there's maybe a 5-10% chance of your bow breaking on any of the next shots. I would say after every 20 shots, this percentage increases by maybe 5 or 10%. So it's an exponential growth on how fast that bow is going to break after you've reached that tier. Here's a little chart that I made in paint to explain that concept. Minimum is going to be my smallest number. So about 550 is going to be the time that the bow can break starts. But on average, you're going to get just under 600 shots before your bow breaks fully for the ancestor bow. This could be all up to maybe 1,200, maybe even, even double or more than that. Um, the higher tier weapons obviously have a less chance of breaking sooner. The sinew back bow minimum is probably around 130, maybe even 100. This one might have been a used bow previously. But the average is going to be 136 before it breaks. The war bow is going to be about 200, 210 before it breaks. It's a really good bow and a heavy hitter. So 200 arrows out of that bow is pretty good. And then the regular bow, the manufactured one, is actually significantly smaller than I had thought. It's about 75 to 80 arrows before you can before it breaks um, and I shot this bow three or four times so this was a little disappointing here um, but it can only shoot iron arrows anyway and you can shoot iron arrows with your ancestor bow just the same if you have the founders package uh, then the hunter's bow again it's the most versatile and it lasts about 175 to 200 something arrows each time so you'll you'll get at least 170 shots out of each hunter's bow which is which is pretty good now the wooden bow i did this the most times because it's the most varying but minimum you're going to get five to seven shots from each wooden bow because they are low quality it's just like shooting one of one of our low quality firearms that we have uh, but on average you're going to get around 25 shots per wooden bow this real number since i have some strange results at the very beginning uh, that that number is probably actually about 15 but I wanted to keep my information pure here those are just anomalies so you're gonna get 15 to 25 shots out of each bow on average so our reload times are essentially all the same it's that quick draw from your quiver and then our reticle is closing so the reticle is kind of an interesting concept if you want to get that full draw that full focus um, to not have any varying of your arrow from point A to point B. It takes just a little bit longer for some of these higher or heavier quality bows before you can release that arrow at full draw. Uh, the war bow, for instance, you're usually going to want that full draw because the reticle is so far apart um, that before it closes, that arrow can stray really far in any direction. So the, the two best bows to get really quick shots off in concession are going to be the hunter's bow and actually the sinew bow um, along with the ancestor's bow if you don't have the founder's package the sinew back bow and the hunter's bow are going to be your best bet for getting real quick shots off with a decent focus within their range um, so you can shoot your first arrow as soon as that reticle appears um, so the closer the reticle is when it appears the better chance you'll have of hitting your target in a pinch. So the damages don't change even if you're about to break your bow. It will remain 72 damage all the way until that bow breaks. So there's no degradation in the damage output from your bow. A fully drawn bow obviously has a better chance of hitting its target, um, but the damage is the same for wherever you hit your target. Obviously, again, headshots are going to be uh, more lethal, but if your arrow hits your target at any point, whether you shoot it with a fully drawn reticle or a open reticle, it's going to do the same amount of damage to your target. So every arrow can be picked up of every type, but the lower tier arrows will be picked up less amount of the time than 
the higher tier arrow. So I can sit shoot a warbow into a target for as many times as I want, and I will be able to pick up every single one of those arrows, the heavy arrows that comes from the warbow. But the wooden bow, I can shoot, and I will pick up around half to one-third of the amount of arrows that I shoot because it's a lower tier bow and lower tier arrows. I'm going to link my video that I did previously that goes into more detail about the different types of arrows, so you can check that out below. Um, but I just wanted to focus today on the statistics of each bow and what they're capable of and the damage and the different tiers that you can see. Um, go ahead and take a look, pause the video and check out the uh, chart up here. And as usual, thanks for stopping by.